Your great-grandmother's face cream? That was a slave's invention. What? Born enslaved in 1864, George Washington Carver became the scientist who turned peanuts into everything you touch, and nobody told you. According to records from Tuskegee University and the National Archives, Carver developed over 300 products from peanuts alone. But here's what they don't teach. In 1925, he patented the first plant-based cosmetic, U.S. Patent 1,522,176, a vanishing cream made from peanuts that could be any color, texture, or thickness. Before Carver, cosmetics used animal fats that destroyed the environment. He revolutionized beauty with legumes. But that was just the beginning. Tuskegee lists 20 cosmetic products Carver created. Face powder, shampoo, shaving cream, hand lotions, massage oils, hair pomade. The Carvaline company was formed to sell his Carvaline antiseptic hair dressing, a mix of peanut oil and lanolin and Carvaline rubbing oil. President Franklin D. Roosevelt used his peanut massage oil treatments. Henry Ford and Thomas Edison were obsessed with his work. From sweet potatoes, he invented 118 products, including molasses, flour, postage stamp glue, and synthetic rubber. From peanuts, milk, Worcestershire sauce, paints, wood stains, plastics, soap, ink, even nitroglycerin. He testified before Congress in 1921 and got a standing ovation. They passed tariff protections for peanuts the next year. By 1940, peanuts were America's second largest cash crop after cotton because of one formerly enslaved man who taught himself chemistry in trash heaps. He worked alone in his lab at Tuskegee and left behind almost no notes. He died in 1943. Most people think he invented peanut butter. He didn't. He invented everything else. Should every child know his name? Share your thoughts below.